Hey, 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 how is it going again? Guardians, LV Native here with another Destiny video for you. Well, it is Tuesday morning, March 14th, time for another Destiny weekly update. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and take a quick look at the feature comment of the day. And today's comment comes to us from WB Bryant Gaming, and he says, This should be feature comment of the day because I just got Destiny. Well, congratulations, man. And thank you very much for taking time to drop on that quick comment. And remember, guys, if you want to be the feature comment of the day, all you have to do is smack that like button and go ahead and leave a comment in the section below, and I just might pick yours to be the very next feature comment of the day. All right, boys and girls, kicking things off with the weekly Nightfall Strike this time around, we have got Sepix Perfected, one of my favorite strikes in the game. We have Epic, Small Arms, Juggler, Grounded, and Chaff. If you still need a Treasure of the Dawning, make sure you do the Siva Crisis Heroic Strike playlist. This time around, modifiers of Heroic, Solar Burn, Small Arms, and Ironclad. Small Arms and Solar Burn ought to make for a pretty interesting farm, guys. Not too hard this week. And to get that Radiant Treasure for your PvP weekly, you can either do Combined Arms or jump on into Doubles. Now this is one that I rarely get a chance to do a lot when it comes up, I just haven't played. One of the few grimoire things is I still need 100 wins in doubles, so there you go, I'll probably be working on that a little bit this week. And if you still need some sterling treasure, hop on over to the Prison of Elders, do the level 41, this is matchmaking so you don't need to have a fire team, just go in there, get matched up, complete all the rounds and get your treasure at the end. And if you're doing that, you're probably also doing the challenge of the elders. If you are, this time around, the modifiers are going to be grenade kill bonus, small arms, and solar burn. Uh, this ought to be a very easy one for people to tear through. So if you need to do a little uh, grinding in the challenge of elders, this week definitely would be a good week to do it. And for the Wrath of the Machine, we have got the Axis Challenge again. So you get that extra gear for completing those challenges. Make sure you get in there with your fire team. Do that and get those awesome rewards. And if you are doing Prison of Elders, of course, make sure you pop on down here and speak to Shax and pick up his bounties. You know, since you're doing them, you may as well get more House of Judgment rep and experience for doing it anyway. And of course, down at the Reef, don't forget about Petra Venge, as she is going to have quite a few different bounties for you to do. Make sure you do these. She has some that reset weekly and daily to get that Queen's Wrath reputation and experience up. And she's got a lot of great weapons and armor that you can only get by doing these bounties. So if you still need any of those, if you're a collector like I am, make sure you're knocking these out each and every week. All right, Guardians, in the Iron Temple, of course, make sure you go over and talk to Shiro. If you're still trying to get the Thorn quest to proc, these are going to be the bounties you want to do. Even if you already got it, you still get a good amount of Vanguard rep and experience for doing these. So make sure you pick them up, head on over to the Archon's Forge, and you unlock most of those out. And lastly, we've got my favorite little sexy Cryptarch over here. Yes, I'm talking about you, Tira. So let's go ahead and see what Iron Lord artifact she has for us this time around. So we got the Memory of Fell Winter with a, uh, with intellect, discipline, and strength? Um, I just now noticed that, guys. Uh, someone correct me. That's a little different, right? I'm not used to seeing three different things. Let's see, we can increase strength or discipline, but we also have intellect. Um, I've never noticed that before. It could just be me. All right, guys, so besides the memory of Fell Winter, we also have the memory of Scory with a, uh, just a straight strength roll for you. And we also have the memory of Perun with discipline and strength. I'm still tripped out on this one. I mean, oh, the lose your super. Wait, why give any intellect at all if you lose your super? This makes zero sense now. Anyway, too much time on this particular segment, guys. Moving on. All right, guys. Well, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you found it useful and enjoyable. If you did, make sure you smack that like button. And in the comment section down below, I want to know how pumped up are you guys for all of this uh, new stuff that's going to be coming into Destiny at the end of this month. New raids are coming back. We're getting back all of our, you know, year one raid weapons to current light level. It's going to be amazing, guys. And I cannot wait to go back and revisit some of that stuff. Because some of my favorite memories from this game are going to honestly be from that Vault of Glass raid. So, 
I'm excited. I hope you guys are as well. We have another reveal stream from Bungie tomorrow, I believe, at 10 uh, a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I'm going to be at work. So again, I'll get you guys the info, but it'll probably be a day late. Um, I'm still going to be watching it while at work. If I can, I'm going to be tuning into that stream. So that's going to wrap it up, guys. I, again, I hope you like the video. But as always, this is LV Native. You guys are awesome. And I will see you in the next one.